What's up, guys? <clears throat> uh, figured I'd just take a video real quick. Uh, so, been wanting to get into more software stuff. Um, but you need a power supply to really do it right. So, uh, I went and found this on eBay. Uh, Medtronic's MSP-070. It is a 70 amp continuous power supply. Um, I've seen them, they run like $1,600 new. And I found, there was one, one used one on eBay. Uh, guy had it listed for 450. I sent him a message. I was like, hey, I'll buy this right now for 400. And he accepted. <clears throat> so I got that. Um, kind of sketched because there was no description. It didn't say like, yeah, it's used, but it works. It just, there was nothing there. It just was used. So I was hoping it wasn't going to be a flop, but it seems to be working. I got it all hooked up <clears throat> to my uh, F15 here. And we are currently flashing. So my issue has been that with this car, that it has CarPlay uh, from the factory, but it's, you know, it's the issue where it's only three quarters of the screen. Uh, and it makes me very angry. So uh, right now we are flashing the head unit. Um, and to go with the head unit, the prerequisite is to flash the um, BGM GW, which is the body control module gateway. Uh, and I was looking around and, it, and it, another one that, so when you look at the prerequisites, another one that also required just the head unit and the gateway was the cluster. So, I, and I have the 6WB cluster. So I went ahead and we're just doing the head unit cluster and the uh, body control gateway all at the same time. So it's going right now. You can see the head unit flash in there. Uh, I, I got, looks like I got past the bootloader on the head unit and the cluster. And right now we're installing the, uh, software files. So that's good. As you can see, the combi is at 99%. So, um, the only thing that's done the whole time is blink the left arrow, which is kind of scary, but, uh, you know, we'll see what happens. And after that, I should be able to code in full screen CarPlay. Um, Oh, there it is. All right, she's alive. In German. Uh, uh, maybe that just needs a factory code to bring it back to English. We'll see. Um, or it's not done yet and it's still gotta code it. So finally the ECU flash finished. See there for the combi at the top. Uh, let's hope that it'll it'll coat it before it wraps everything up. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming it'll do a factory coat on it. Um, but yeah, it, it's real easy once you figure out the whole ESIS thing. Uh, literally like you just go to the comfort mode and then tau calculating, you, you load a bunch of stuff and save some things and then you come here to tau processing and then you fill all this in and uh, you know do some stuff and then you hit go and it does its thing you just got to make sure your files are set up right and and uh, I did a practice run by I factory coded the head unit uh, just to make sure that that would be successful and it was so that means you've got good communication with the car um, so that's kind of a good test run to make sure everything's good and then you, you before you start you'll hit this here uh, check software availability That'll confirm that all your files needed for the flash are in place. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, I'll try to take a little short clip once everything is finished and wrapped up. Uh, and show you the finished product. Alright, check it out. We have full screen car play. Everything went very well. The update finished without a hitch, and uh, everything works perfectly. So, if you've got that three-quarter screen car play, all you need is the flasher head unit. Uh, I was at. Let's see if we can pull it up. I 
step shipment, uh, 2024, 11, which put me at Y. But you just have to be in or above to be able to, to, be able to code in the full screen car play. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, let me know if you need any help.